Oh my god. Pocket sand. Pocket sand. You know that logo means it means two things. It means lawsuits to anybody that tries to do anything with these characters, and you know it means big, giant, radioactive dongs. These are three Godzilla, the 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 forgotten Godzilla fighting games. Look at this fucking intro, yo. Let's go. This is the arcade fighter of uh, gods. Illa. So yeah, this is made by Ben Presto, which would make you think, oh shit, that's going to be awesome. Because Ben Presto did some really cool things in the arcade. This is not their best effort. There's two things that they made that that, that are not their best efforts. Uh, and that is this, and that is their Sailor... Ooh. <laughs> oh yeah, that beat though. Uh, there's two efforts that are not that great in their in their back game library, and that is this, and that is their whoa, and that is their Sailor Moon uh, beat em up in the arcade. Not uh, because uh, Sailor Moon's lame, far from it. Sailor Moon's like the coolest thing ever made, uh, but it's just a disappointing game. S mechanics are not very in depth. Ooh, look at him shuck and jive. I like that. Dun, 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 dun. So leading up to each and every fight in the arcade version, I did play this. The last time I played this was in Galloping Ghost, like four years ago, maybe more. And you have this little level, and what this basically does is just letting you power up and get points. You can't actually take damage, if you can see. Get rid of all these maser rays, get out of here. The government wasted, Japanese government wasting all this money on mazers. So you have two lives, and as you spend your time there, that little power meter uh, below our health bar powers up. So I can do my atomic breath. It does some decent damage, and it does basically chunks of, of your, your bar, and you hold down the button for more of a sustained blast. The problem with this game, and another one we'll take uh, a look at, is that pressing up doesn't do anything. Uh, this is a game with one attack button, uh, two, uh, sorry, a punch button, a, ki a kick or tail button, and a jump button. A jump button! I don't like that, but it is what it is. Holy shit, King Ghidorah, proving that he is the king uh, below Mount Fuji. Oh my god. So yeah, the, unfortunately the, the issue with this game is that I think it was like a mandate from Toho. This has to be casual as fuck. No six buttons, no complicated special moves, nothing. Press buttons together, because we're trying to get the mainstream Godzilla fans, uh, in Japan at least, to, to get into this. And we, we we show them six buttons, they'll lose their minds, their, their brains will explode in radioactive goo. And let's just have the game not have that much depth at all, unfortunately. We do have two throws we can do. I'm gonna, well, you know, if I'm not dead, I can do them. This really does come across as I know this, I know I say it often, button basher, but is very much a button basher. And I have so few moves. Why does King Ghidorah get all these fucking moves? He had a stomp, he had like two types of projectile blasts. Oh, that was a cool air clash though. Oh! is gravity beamed my general crotchal area. Godzilla, wake up! Oh, wake up, you bastard! Shocking him with electricity, that's very uh, Godzilla versus the sea monster, King Kong shit. I do like how there's an old, there's an old picture and I do like how it says specifically we're in 1964. Now, it says 1964, but we're clearly Heisei Godzilla. Blah, blah, blah. I yeah, sure hope someone got, got fired, fired for that blunder. blunder. Those birds are up there. Uh, kid, those are for scale to show how mammoth Godzilla really is. He's, he's you know, depending. Uh, if it's 1964, he is 50 feet tall. This is clearly 80s Godzilla, in which case he is 100 feet tall. Oh, look at Rodan Shadow in front of Mount Fuji. I like that. The, the the rendering on the the sprite for the atomic blast is quite good it's very it's very impressive actually what what this does do 
And we're gonna we're gonna try just throwing King Ghidorah a bunch here. What this does do is does it very much mimics the fight choreography of Godzilla movies of this era, where it's just two amazing Japanese men sweating their asses off, losing 20 pounds in one day just by sweating inside these suits, just tossing around each other, and that's it. The occasional special effect thrown in. Ooh. So throwing seems to, seems to be the key here, mayhaps. Howl bonus, how do I do howl? There's absolutely no game FAQs. Mafadaya. Oh, I'm sure you won't get sick of that by the end of this video. 420 every day, yo. Ooh, little people. Can I not kill them? Can I eat them like in Primal Rage? I can't even do anything. Get rid of the Eiffel Tower. I don't know why Tokyo ripped that off. Oh. Someone play the Mothra song quick. Oh, that was half health. Fuck you, Mothra. Like, I'm sorry. Except for Godzilla, all the monsters have been incorrect thus far. That's super nerdy of me to know, but like, if you click on this video, you probably know yourself. Fuck off, Mothra. Uh, that was super brutal. It just kicks Mothra in the face with this big dumb drop kick. The best drop kick in the business Godzilla got. Did I die? Oh no. And Mothra's like baby son is just struggling to live on the floor. I've made you an orphan, child. Alright, Gigan. I'm gonna say this from the start of this video. He's gonna be an issue. These are good smash buildings. I mean, it's good to have these sections in. Just lets your frustrations out. It's just one of those days. Was that fucking Jet Jaguar? I saw, I saw some motherfucker fly back there. Anyway, it's just one of those days. Alright, blast, blast. We gotta pick my moment. I picked my moment to when he blocked. Great. Pick him up. <laughs> Throw him down. Big, big overhead power slam. I just wish I could put Gigan into a headlock. Come on, come on. Yeah, no. Yeah, Godzilla, you're cold, cold as ice. ice. Wait, what? Level continues, but I'm beat to hell. No, guys, go away. Can they hurt me? No. What's that Garrus doing? It's like presenting. Oh my god, it's the stupid Godzilla ride thing. Get out of here. What's that Garrus doing? He's just chomping on something. Ah! All right, like I, Megalon, I kind of doubt I'm beating you. I got like 10% health left. We'll try to make something happen. Holy shit. No, we made nothing happen. All right, all right. Full health, full health. After doing like one life though. Please stop doing your drill attack. I know that's kind of your thing, but please stop it. Oh, oh. Oh, I thought he was like gonna like suplex me or something. Spinning pile driver in my ass, I don't want it. I, I find like my, my regular attack, the stubby punch is not the best. I mean, no, that's how Godzilla would actually fight. That's all he's got, really. He doesn't have a lot, he's atomic breath is really. He's a one move dude most, most of the time. Depends on who's making the movie, obviously. Oh, good anti-air, damn. Whoop. Oh, we can do it, we can do it. Yeah. Megalon is mega done. Wait, Megaron? He's like a Megaron Weasley? What the fuck? Can you not even spell the monster's names? All right, M Godzilla. All right, just destroy it. Like, you know, Japan doesn't need whatever this is. This field of... Like this 10 football stadiums of, oh my God. All right, it's got his Goji skin on first. What the, I can't do that. What move is that? What move is that? Was there like a Godzilla arcade, like pro tournament player on the other end? Am I accidentally on fight Cade? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's something. Let, let's see if he gets, oh, my dick and balls. Again, trying to acclimatized to a fighting game with a jump button is still foreign to me. I thought, oh my god, why does he get that? Oh, I can't even angle my, my flame shot, my atomic breath. Oh no, we do it, we do it. I can do it. Oh my god. No, I can't. Oh, no. Awaken, 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 awaken. So, I mean, if it's 1974, then this, I think we could be around the era of terror of Mechagodzilla. Why don't we just build up some meter? Build up more meter before we go there, huh? Let me do that. All right, we, let's, let's give this another go. 
Just jockeying for a position. Oh my god. Like, this dude's like Roman cancels. This dude's parrying. I don't know. Like, I'm one. I'm wondering, am I stupid? Can I do these moves? But I can't. Like, I, I just. Because I just don't know the command. I couldn't find any. Any move list for this game. Please die, sir. No. I can't even get his his Godzilla skin off. I can't even tear it off him. It's like a like a gut brawn panties match, but with Godzilla skin. God damn it! Now would it be nice if when I get a second try, their health stays the same, like a survival match? Not maybe they stay the same, but he gets like a chunk of it back. If I can wear him down. No, it's like those are like Mortal Kombat classic Mortal Kombat punches. Those little stubby punches that he's got. Like it has the same utility as it. Why? Oh! Okay, we still have a chance. Still have a big chance. Okay, m now maybe less of a chance. Damn it. Stop! Oh my god! Why? Why? Why are you. S I hate you so much! No! No! Oh, I still have one more life. Uh, okay, if I don't do it here. Fortunately, like, it is nice that I have three tries, and but I only need to be beat them once. When he has all my moves, I can't, like, well, he doesn't have all my moves. He has m all my moves and more than them. I might be people just playing garbage. I don't know how many of you out there watching this, like, know the meta of Godzilla Arcade. I doubt you do, but I think we're going to switch modes and maybe check out the other kaiju. But we're going to have to see this game over screen. Look at all those turbo nerds, the zillions. All right, versus battle mode. It's weird that there's, like, a menu selection on an arcade game, you know? But what do you expect from God's Ella? Oh, that's cute. We're on Monster Island. Ghidorah is spelled wrong, I just realized. All right, yeah, we'll take Mecha King Ghidorah. Why not? Wow, this is... That's a pretty crazy select screen. You didn't get one in the one-player mode because you just automatically Godzilla. But I'm assuming this is not going to go that much well. I couldn't, I couldn't defeat Godzilla or, like, fake Godzilla. What? Oh, so then he has that move. I just don't know how to do it. I'm not sure. Again, there's only three buttons and I thought I had pressed everything. And the tutorial at the start didn't tell me about like a tail swipe in the air and like a weird force field. So when you have like these universal systems where it's the same buttons for like special and then throw it, unfortunately it does make you feel like you're not playing like individual fighters in a game. As like you're just you're just pressing buttons. They're just functions, you know. I think I might be the first person to ever term to ever coin that term. Oh. Okay, okay. That that's that's the counter for that. I can't jump over that because it is fast. I didn't think that King Ghidorah is a good jumper, but he'd surprise you. Can can I defeat this single Godzilla? No. No, I cannot. Oh, what the? Why is he able to close the distance that fast? I don't even have that. Like, can the CPU just do things that you can? It might be so. I don't know. I'm scared. Oh my god, we can do it. We can do it. No, we can't. We can't. We can't. I knew it. Called it. Oh, what the hell? That was so violent. Uh, so that is Godzilla for the arcade. Uh, we have two other games to check out, so I, I just can't throw my head against the wall or against the gaily metal dick of Mecha Godzilla. So let's move on to our next one, which is, which is, in my opinion, an improvement. All right, so the next little uh, Godzilla brawl we have going on here is for the TurboGrafx CD. The, the the PC engine, I don't know what it's called. The Turbo Duo. Anyway, he's back. He's bad. He's mad. Godzilla. This is just just all Godzilla. And it was it was released for the Turbo Graphics PC engine, whatever. I don't think I've ever seen this. Well, someone's sucking him off. Look at that. It's 16 beast even. Yo, what the hell? I've never seen this animated intro. Destination, Japan. <gasps> oh, whoa. Look at this budget, I think. The legendary master. I think it probably wanted to say monster there, not, not master. So 1993, not too long after the last game, oddly enough, 
So we're going to have to eventually press run to start, uh, which really makes you know that you're playing a weird PC engine turbo duo slash whatever. Okay. The opening crawl is just doing whatever it wants. Normal game or versus game, which what? Oh, oh. <laughs> Remix. All right. So what the? Oh, all oh, those you little cute chibi Godzilla, the fierce beast. Oh, we have another option though. And then now we have the the, the flight battle ship. <laughs> That's not the giant claw. All right, let's fight the the fucking giant claw. He's as big as a battleship. There's some style going on with this. Look at this. Ooh, fancy. So unfortunately, from what I know. Uh, this game still plays a lot like the last one in that we have a jump button. Hate it. Never do it. Um, and an attack button and a... I think that might be it. Uh, yeah, I think it. I think that's essentially it. I, it's, I have this cool little dash. That's like... Crouch and... Oh my god. Ooh! Blood! It's like that one super violent Godzilla with all the blood. I hate that one. Gave me nightmares as a child, baby. Get the fuck down! Get down here. Yeah. Scratched his belly. Give Rodan big belly scratch is what he likes. Really? Only one round, huh? Okay. That's high stakes. Uh, um, that's sweaty gameplay right there. <laughs> It does that by itself. That's amazing. All right, so I can just walk into space. The cybernetic monster or monster zero. I just walked to space. Godzilla does. No, I f I'll fight Gigan. You know, it's safe down there. That's that's super fun. Dun, 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 dun. It sounds like, you know, Ace Attorney music. <laughs> We're waiting for a trial to begin. Ooh, an Ace Attorney investigation game, but uh, Kaiju, like, sign me up. So I just noticed that we're like, we're like Showa era Godzilla. We got the weird, like, melted, like, Cookie Monster face, which is crazy when you think about it. Oh my god! The fucking Godzilla amusement park ride statue thing is in the background. And King Ghidorah and Anguirus just hashing it out. A, a meeting of the minds back there while we're fighting. It's a monster land jamboree down here. I have red blood, but, but Gigan has weird like yellow, ye neon yellow green blood. Oh my god. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, my heart. My heart's breaking. What happens? If I press yes, though, <gasps> whoa, that's not Showa Godzilla. That's like Heisei era right there. He has the elongated snout, the little, little ears. You know, I don't have a lot of experience with a lot of PC Engine Turbo Graphics games. This game looks okay. Uh, I, I find it's a little desaturated, a little, little less colors than normal. But it could be that just Toho is just being, you know, cheap bastards. Although I have to admit, uh, having a new Godzilla movie already filmed and coming out in a year, like a new Japanese Godzilla movie, and just having that just come out of nowhere and it's already kind of done, like it's pretty exciting. I'm not gonna lie. So I've been playing a lot of kaiju games recently. Go, go by Gigabash. <laughs> ah. Nice sound effect though for for getting slammed down. I think that's uh, that's quite accurate, film accurate. And it has the correct roars for for the kaiju. We're sadly missing that King Ghidorah roar for whatever reason. Pretty iconic, but I guess Ben Presto couldn't be arsed. Oh my God, it's gonna do it again. <laughs> Really getting the mileage out of that roar sound clip Toho sent you over, huh? The Guardian of Moo. All right, so that's Megalon. Oh, Hedora, that's an easy fucking choice. Oh man, it'd be great if they like recreated some Hedora moments. You know, those Hedora moments that like, you know, families and couples, they bond over. That's an interesting Hedora sprite. Weird Atmos here. Oh, oh okay, that failed. There are lots of little shit snotters at me. I don't really know if that's going to be a problem. I'm like a gas. He's got a lot of shit. Oh my god. I mean, he is literally that. I'm just like discombobulated fighting Hedora. 
I, I, I don't know which, which way is right, which way is down. Stop. Oh my, oh, well, my, my atomic breath stops that, so that's pretty cool. <gasps> oh, that was my own throw. That was kind of neat. I kind of grabbed him and then, like, shot a bunch of beams out of my body. That's actually pretty sick. Kind of a standard Godzilla practice to have, like, some sort of energy pulse come off him, but not when he grabs uh, an opposing kaiju. We can do this. We can, we can pull this out. But it's it's getting it's getting clutch. Them life bars though. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god, I'm making this a nail biter for y'all. I hope you appreciate it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Take it, take it, take it. Oh my god. No! No! <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We did that textbook. Alright, who do we have next? We have either uh, Alien's Weapon, a bionic monster. Alien's Weapon? I guess that's Mechagodzilla? Just weird to, you know, he has many appearances and stuff. Just straight up calling him Alien's Weapon is a little strange. Let's, let's do Mechagodzilla, see how it goes. If, if I don't win, then I'll, then I'll try Biolanta. MG1 Metal Gear. Wait, is my Godzilla sprite slightly different? He does look slightly different, doesn't he? Will the sprite actually change depending on the, the era that I'm fine because this is 70s Godzilla. So yeah, it should still be Showa era, but the sprite looks different to me now. That's kind of cool. Starting off well, I was able to duck the- oh my god, that was- That was some raw damage on that punch. Big war of attrition here, we're just- we're just two big hosses slugging it out. Oh my god, he has so many projectile attacks. I can only take like two more of those. I can only take one more of those. Die, Mecha, Mecha G. Oh fuck, oh fuck. Do the, do the headbutt, yeah. All right, good, for your listening pleasure. <laughs> I'm not getting tired of that anytime soon. Okay, so who we have next? Destroyer from the dark. That's Batra. Batra's a pull. And the three headed dragon. I thought King Ghidorah was already Monster Zero. It's weird that they're going between both monikers. So Batra is very Showa era. Sorry, a Heisei era. Will the sprite change? Yeah, that's Heisei era. That's cool. They actually changed the sprite. Big underwater fight. I don't remember if Godzilla fights Batra underwater. I think Batra and Mothra fight underwater. It's been a while since I've seen uh, the Batra, the Bat, well, not the Batra movie, Batra movie. This particular one. I really hope the uh, that super sick collection of the show era. They they do the Heisei one. God, it's, it's up there. You know the one with the pink cover, the giant Godzilla face. I forget who made it. Mondo Criterion. I forget. But I really hope they do a Heisei one eventually. This is a pretty by the numbers fight. Bash is not doing much. I mean, I'm assuming they have their other form. There's just this weird caterpillar form. They're not gonna I don't I don't think they're winning. There you go. Not that big of a threat. I battered that Batra. Select the target. Oh, so you have to have a really good score to unlock like the rest of all the enemies. I assume these are the ones that we skipped, uh, but I don't, I don't have enough points for them, unfortunately. That kind of sucks. So I guess we're just going to have to fight the, the MBS Super, the Super 12. The last battle in, oh, oh, Sokka business part. Oh, Sokka's not some like weird unknown, like... You know, in the sticks or the booties. It's pretty major city, but okay. Oh man, I have to fight the Super 12, the Super X2. Sorry, I was just saying those Roman numerals in my head. So yeah, uh, one one of these ships is like a problem in in the next and last game we'll be we'll be playing today. I think it's the good Tango. Anyway, I'm really fighting this thing. It's the big, it's the jobber end boss. That's a cool system though. Like, you know, it's like secret battles in like Street Fighter Alpha 2 or whatever. It's like you needed like a high point total to get an enemy. Um, Super Kuma or whatever it was. You know, just as an example. 
and but it was kind of like secret like it would just sort of happen but i like the the idea of like a boss menu showing up and saying like these are the all the available bosses you can fight that's actually a really cool system it's very different it's like you can just pick and choose like oh yeah yeah i feel like uh we didn't fight king Caesar. we didn't fight manda we didn't fight kamakuras all these all these jobber kaiju I don't. I, I. I'm assuming those. Are, those are filled with the ones I just skipped because I, I defeated other kaiju instead. But it'd be cool if there was like an exclusive one there or not. Like I, I imagine there's at least one other ship. But it said unknown monster. Get the hell out of here. That's right. Mankind goes down in flames. Their time is over. Is there a final boss though? Like a final, final, final boss? Um. Nope. <laughs> it's just the credits. So yeah, it's just Godzilla on the turbo engine graphics 16. Um, it's definitely a step in the right direction. It's not, it doesn't play much more different than the last game, but fortunately Alpha System has given another chance uh, to make one more Godzilla game that sadly um, no one really got to play or anyone outside Japan. I'll be taking that, take a look at that next. And you know, that's, that's the one out, out of all three of these games today. Like, uh, you know, if I was, if I was going to preemptively recommend it, uh, that's it. So let's get our screeongs going and boot that last one up. Damn you Toho. Damn you. Alpha system, you didn't do anything wrong, but Toho did do us all a giant disservice by never publishing Godzilla Kaiju Daikison in every anywhere but Japan. This, I really feel, would be closer to world peace if this had come out in the Super Nintendo for the entire world to enjoy. I'm being serious. So basically, this is an enhanced version of what we saw on the Turbo Graphics. That little Go Gojira is so cute. Oh, look at him! So yeah, this game is is a little weird. It's it's definitely the most fighting game of the bunch. Here we have uh, Godzuki. There's Angarius, Angarius. I always say Angarius because he's very angry. King Ghidorah, spelt correctly, at least to me. You know, your mileage may vary. There's Guy Gang, he's a pain in the ass. He's probably going to be a big buzzsaw on my ass again. Mothra, yeah, Mothra. Okay. Whoa, Biolante, nice. Always nice for, for her to show up in any game. Mecha Godzilla. Yeah, it's just it's just Mecha the first Mecha Godzilla. You think uh, the '80s Heisei era Mecha Godzilla would be there, and there was Megalon, of course. We're gonna go Goji again. We got we got to keep it up. So the neat thing about this game is that, like I kind of earlier hinted at, it's a fighting game in the sense that you press up and you jump. There's no dedicated jump button. Um, there is dedicated other weird buttons. There's a dedicated dash. And like a grab button and then there's like two types of attacks that's like weak and strong and there are supers which is like the big thing they're called wrath supers which is it should just be called rage anyway um definitely improved pixel art and it's definitely faster right the thing with it is see that's the dash it's basically that little head stomp from the last game the head stomp a head head barge when they, they glow red like that, that means they have their Wrath uh, super move at the ready. You basically fill up a little icon of yourself. What hubris in, in the bottom corners. I think Angaris might have wasted theirs or it got stuffed. Now, the grab button is weird because everyone has specific commands for grabs once you've initiated. It's more like a wrestling game, but I don't know... <laughs> Okay, there you go. Ooh, there's that blood again. I mean, it's I mean, it's went to the Super Famicom uh, game, huh? That's the thing that's weird. This is '93, so the ESRB came into effect with basically Mortal Kombat 2, which was in '93, '94. The the home console versions came out. I've always theorized as to why this was um, like announced to come out as as Godzilla Destroy All Monsters Melee. Nerd already talked about it at length, uh, but I will talk about it even, I will add to the length. 15 years later, I'm still pissed. Maybe it's due to the blood. Maybe they didn't want to change the blood out and it would affect the rain. Fuck, do a move. You son of a bitch, Goji. 
Okay, I didn't do it. I'll, I'll figure them out later. <laughs> um, so yeah, like, uh, I'm not... I, I don't... Because I think it was in 1995, that issue of Nintendo Power. Oh, there's my super. It totally missed. All right, I think one more hit. There you go. All the correct roars, which is nice. All right, so you can't pick your opponent. So we'll, we'll go around the, the list here. Mothra, yeah. Mothra's kind of a pushover in all, in all video games, it seems. I mean, that's my impression. I think the stages are also really nice. Um, definitely a lot better than the Turbo Graphics game we looked at. Uh, oh! Like, animation on Mother is actually quite good. She's never looked better. Oh god, Mothra dust. Don't inhale it, kids. You don't know what you're gonna see. Just so much shit being shot at me. Oh wow, that attack is so accurate to the films. I'm almost topped out. Ooh. Let's go, let's go. Yeah. Y yeah. Nailed it. So one thing I, I know about the supers in this game is like, I don't think any of them are blockable or it just depends. I, I think a lot of them aren't. Ooh, I, I think they're blockable. We still take a bunch of damage. Um, not that, not that much less than if you, you, they just got hit by them. As far as, as far as my memory serves, which to be fair is faulty at best. So still the thing, unfortunately with this game is that it still feels like the last a little bit and that it's, they're slow to react. I kind of find the monsters. It's just so weird to try to get that 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 sort of feel and weight to them. So they feel big and powerful, but also making the game feel, you know, good to play, snappy, responsive, all that junk. And this is definitely the best one so far. Oh, uh, but it's still not great. So the the I just noticed up above the blue meters are purple on Mothra's side right now. They're basically stun meter. So you get them all the way, then as it fills down, they stay down on the ground. I think depending on the attack, you can get a few extra hits in. I'm not sure if there's a dedicated follow up to it, but stun meters a, a good change. All right, let's go Megalon. I don't know what Megalon stage is. I hope it's not the one from the Godzilla vs Megalon poster. Oh, thank God. Thank God it's not. Cut to the Godzilla vs. Megalon poster, please. Yeah, yeah, not that one. No thanks. Usually I find Megalon is, is quite good in video games. In the Pipeworks games, uh, they had huge advantages. Their under the ground drill move. In the last game, Megalon was a fucking beast. Or Kaiju. Stupid Christmas tree monster, get out of here. <laughs> okay, it took some damage. Oh my god, he can air dash. Uh. Oh, air attack, nice. So it's weird, Godzilla basically has three forms of atomic breath. It's a one that's a sustained blast and one that's more of a projectile, nice. And then the air one which shoots like little mini blasts. So they're getting a lot out of not much there. And I think there's a tail swipe and that's kind of it. Do I wish they had like, you know, actual fighting game moves like Godzilla's version of an SRK or like a flash kick. I, I kind of wish they had more silly stuff like that. Damn. Fucking outplayed. Oh, that's sick. Uh, uh. Yeah, there's a sustained blast. Uh, Megalon sure saw it coming. Uh. Yeah, that's like a good, healthy special moves worth of damage just by them blocking it. Okay, so like a jumping uh, kick will hit them uh, on the ground. That's good to know. Yeah, little cute uppercut. The most radioactive uppercut you've ever seen. All right, we're gonna pick next. Um, maybe Mecha? Nah, guy again. It, it is still his 50th anniversary or, or whatever. Like I said, I'm worried he's gonna like, like blow my ass apart. I don't like it. Oh my God. There's the Godzilla stupid ride again. Oh, he tummy sawed me already. So I noticed that like background elements actually take damage. Uh, the Godzilla statue ride had its head and we crushed it. Good, I hate it. This is so weird. Misses. Oh my god! Oh my god! What is? Oh. No! <gasps> oh! This is a super attack. It's I forgot like him and one other character have like a rush super. 
and I, I can jump over it if I can react to it, but as people most likely know, my reactions are poor at best. What type of rushdown game? Oh, big damage. What type of rushdown game does Godzilla have? It's gotta be pretty good. Cause he's just a brawler. Ooh, 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 ooh. So, you know, a lot of kaiju. Oh, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. So that was a 360 motion and grab once you've initiated a grab. I don't know if there's any Mugens, any fan games of this at all, but there absolutely should be. If there's anyone out there that, that knows that stuff, that knows that realm, I will work with you to make a, a better Godzilla fighting game Mugen. That'd be so sick. Just take what's here and just start tweaking stuff. I think there's like two unlockable characters we would... Ow, he's doing it again! I think we'd make those characters by default uh, unlocked. Uh, if we can like up the speed a little bit. Uh, change the command for grabs. There, there's, there's lots of little things you can do. Uh, like actually pay attention to what you're doing. That would, that would help. Anyway, since he beat me, let's, let's try King Ghidorah. I'm sure it's going to go well. <laughs> this final boss like type enemy for, for Goji. I'm sure at least we're fighting at the, at the basement. This is such a classic Toho background. Love it. And the amount of sc of uh, parallax scrolling in the background is actually quite impressive. Ooh. ooh, ooh, that wasn't actually good. Oh my god, fuck! Like, how is King Ghidorah so good at fighting when he doesn't got no arms? He just got these like concerning lumps on his. Oh, what? Oh, that's a super. The gravity beams. But yeah, this this would be the game to to easily mod, make a fan game out of. You could even probably, you know, if you really, because the, there's characters that that um, characters. I apologize. There's kaiju in the Turbo Graphics game that aren't in this. Mod them in there too. You rip those sprites. I don't, I, I, I don't know how how easy that would be. The problem is we couldn't sell such a fan game. We couldn't tell anybody either. Total take ow! Baraka blades. Total take down that shit, no problem. Oh my god! No! I mean that's so exact to his to his how the movie's actually done in the movies. I can't hate it, but also I hate it so much. Alright, let's go Bialante. This background's so awesome. Uh very much the final fight uh, betwixt her and, and Godzilla. All right, I'm getting some bites in there. Godzilla confirmed vegan, so he just starts chowing down on Biolante. Oh my god! Plus, look at this fucking sprite. That is an amazing sprite. Ooh. Very meaty damage. Nice! I'd also increase the size of the overall sprites a little bit more. I don't know, 15, 20%. Just so they feel more intimidating. I kind of find the cameras a little bit too zoomed out. I'm getting super excited thinking about this fan game I'm gonna make that I'm probably never gonna make. No, I guess we couldn't sell it. You know, I guess, I guess it just has to be for, for the fans. It'd be the new competitive standard. Oh my God. No, wait, is this, oh my God, no. And there's lots of incredible work in the Godzilla fan game. There's, uh, that uh, Pipeworks uh, fan game, Remix Remaster. Uh, has it Save the Earth Melee? I think it's Save the Earth Melee. I'm just waiting for that to get like a little more polished. Uh, the, the first time I tried to boot that up, it just wouldn't work. That needs to be a quick and easy EXE file. Oh, look at that little bop. Oh my God, one of the big snots hit me. All right, who we got left? We got Mecha, we got Mecha G, hitting the G spot 24 seven. Uh, we got Gigan and we got King Ghidorah. Okay. Where's King Caesar, the real king? Okay. I don't like Gigan's bigger. Is Gigan taller? Not taller than Heisei Godzilla. And this is Heisei Godzilla. They they modified the sprite a little bit to be to be more of the 80s, early 90s variety here. Oh, this this, this battle's gonna make my blood boil. Good luck. Oh. oh. Yeah! So it's really good for against other projectiles. It just blasts right through it. Oh, oh, 
oh, oh, oh, oh. That's some good guy gant. Oh, fuck yeah. Maybe like, you know, make the make the combo system a little bit more free flowing. You can do more stuff. Get some juggles in there. Ooh, I'm getting excited. But like what's here, the bones of all of this is, looks great. Like I think the backgrounds don't need to change. They're great as is. I think the HUD's a little busy. It it could it could look a little different, I think. Mm, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, nice. Come on. Get it. No. He had no health. Oh, <laughs> I'm so pissed. I, be I, I better fucking win this time. Throws do like a lot of damage. Maybe that's the balance of it. Throws are a bit harder to pull off because they do so much fucking damage. Ooh, ooh. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking botch this. Oh, no, I didn't. I'm the best. I had confidence 24 seven. You should always be confident in me. All right, Mecha G, we do it. They have a lot of attacks. They have like way more attacks than me. Like a shitload of projectiles. They have their like, oh my God. They have their spinning face thing. Oh, maybe? Did I find it? Did I find that technique that you use? Oh, oh no! It's a target rich environment. He shot everything at me. That was his super. Do sustained barrage of atomic breath. This could be the technique. He's, ta he's taking the chip damage. This should be it. Oh, did we find it? It's one thing that Justin Wong taught me, being under his tut tutelage. He's like, cheat, lie, cheat, and steal all the time. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's let's focus up here. My technique from before is not working. It's not working. He's got me cornered. His hands are getting all spinny. I'm real nervous. Get get away. Get away. No! Oh! Oh my god, now I'm knocked down. I'm so fucked. What, 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 what hit me? I'm gonna get my revenge on this Mecha Goji after not being able to beat the last one. I mean, but this is much more pleasant to play, so that's why I'm gonna, I'm gonna persevere here. Oh no, 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 I wanna quit now. Remember what I said before, don't have confidence in yourself at all. Just assume you're gonna lose and fail. Oh! Uh. Oh, quit! <gasps> No! Off! Oh. Wait, no! Yeah! <laughs> yeah, I won like a true champion does! Fucking killing the monsters! This is the true measuring of a man, or a gi giant monster. King Ghidorah now, for real. I had one go at him, if you remember. So, I'm gonna see if that uh, projectile heavy approach is the right approach. Okay, let me go, that's fine. Again, it's sustained. You just don't let, you, your fingers have to have blisters. Oh, it didn't work. My plan did not work. He just did a super and he just jumped over mine. Get the fuck out. Oh, I'm so dying. Oh, I'm so dead. That's real bad. It's fine, it's fine. It's, it's, unlike the last game, it's, it's best out of, t out of three rounds. Oh my god. Oh, that's a super sick fucking throw, though. I think that was a throw into, like, maybe a normal. I wasn't true. Oh my god. Okay, I can still do this. I can still do it. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, no. Oh, oh. <laughs> Fireball! Fireball! Yeah! He's dead as shit. Okay, we're doing it. I think we can do it. This time. Oh. Like, that would be devastating, like, to Japan in general. That would have caused an earthquake. Godzilla again. Throwing up, what, what, a thousand feet in the air there? Oh, no. Oh. Oh my god. Your supers can get stuffed so easily. Like, as soon as the animation starts, like, anything just hits you out of it and you just waste the entire bar. I hate that shit. Come on, no. Oh. No, well, it's the only monster I can pick, game. Don't make it seem like I have a choice. So, I think it's it's the super 
um, the super system favoring him. If I start damaging him, you get super via damage, right? So I have to like take a few hits to get my super, which I did. So I'm almost full up. Hmm? Okay, no, I got, oh. Oh, that was super lucky. But if he jumps up in the air and does a fucking gravity, what am I supposed to do? I was blocking. Maybe I, ha I have to dash forward. That's the only way I get, I get uh, beneath him. I'll take it though. So I shall employ the same technique. I will take a few hits. This is, this is a technique. This is real strategy here, folks. This is a 4D chest. I take a few hits on purpose. Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that was part of my plan. Oh, yeah! No, oh, oh. Okay, now I just put him on lockdown. Fuck yes! I should do the Godzilla dance. Can we get that on the screen, please? All right, so there is a uh, boss, I believe. I don't know what we do there. It's not going well. It's not going well. It's just Japan's holy shit alarm. Who are they sending out? It's Super Godzilla. Heisei era, uh, Super Godzilla. Super Mecha Godzilla. This Mecha Godzilla is usually um, shown in the games as like a badass, like specifically in the Godzilla PS4 game. Like it's just like the ultimate Mecha Godzilla, really. I guess aside from Kiryu, I don't know which one's more powerful. Oh, this is doing well. Their dash is super sick looking. I have the early advantage. I can't wait to see how I how I lose it. Headbutt doing some work. Uh. Nope. Yep. <gasps> nice. That went really well. And they have, they have that fight uh, round announcement. It'd be cool if they have the, the talking Godzilla from the 60s dub. <laughs> be the voice actor for that bit. Or like... Uh, since he's the observer, the reporter. Raymond Burr, yeah, get Raymond Burr. I'm pretty sure he's dead, but bring him back. Have him voice this Godzilla game from 1993. Oh, Jesus. <gasps> oh, was that a super? I don't think it was, was it? Oh, yes. No, that's the end. Look at those damn thick thighs though, okay. Is that your ending? Yeah, that's, that's your ending. <laughs> so yes, there's Godzilla Kaiju Daikasen, or Godzilla Destroy All Monsters, and it's canceled for whatever reason. Uh, out, a Western port. Uh, very sad. Like, we got Super Godzilla, which is awful. Don't like it. Um, on the Super Nintendo. That came over. I'm assuming also probably what went into the decision is that sold really badly because it's bad. Also, it didn't help that there are no Godzilla movies coming out in the West at that time. So there's like, Godzilla's light is all time low in terms of like Western visibility. So they're just like, oh, well, those two factors combined. Let's just not bring out this tournament fighter game. Yeah, fighting games were popular in the 90s. Fucking Toho, man. I don't even know. I, I don't know about no Toho, you know. Anyway, those were three underrated, unknown, often forgotten Godzilla fighting games good stuff i really think if i put my mind to it i can make that that mugen fan game happen that'd be so dope maybe get mr g star 321 to play Ooh. any other kaiju fighting games you'd like me to play on the channel do let me know and i'll see you next time in the flop house